G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Today is Saturday the 1st of June 2019 and the time here is 11.05 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Okay folks, um, first of all, thanks for all the best wishes um, and all the well wishes. I'm feeling a lot better, um, starting to come through. I've, I actually went to Kansas last month and or beginning of this month and I've been sick ever since I came back um, <clears throat> just came run down with flu and blah blah, blah. you know it's just been ongoing um, especially with my sinuses because I used to do a lot of boxing and karate and you know, I smashed up my nose a lot over the years and uh, paying the penalty for that with my sinuses okay let's do the sponsorship okay here is my great sponsor totally awesome uh, if you haven't used Totally Rawesome's stuff, they make golden turmeric activated, activated, golden activated turmeric paste, sorry. Um, and it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. They also do several other ranges within their little kit bag. Um, they also do stuff for your dogs, which I'm giving to mine, and it's working wonders for him. Um, look, folks, if you haven't tried this stuff, if you're like me, you're getting older, or you're getting old um, try this stuff it is awesome it absolutely works for your joint pain there's no two ways about it I haven't been on any tablets for my knee uh, since I started using this stuff uh, that's where these guys are on bundle farmers market art center 135 bundle road surface paradise every Sunday 6 till 12 that's the mobile number and the mailing list as I said, if you haven't tried their golden activated turmeric paste, you are missing out. And it's not just me. I get all the feedback and everyone tells me that um, it's the best thing they've, they've used. So try it. It works. Okay. As I said, thanks for all the well wishes. I'm feeling a lot better. One thing at the beginning of this video that I'm not going to leave until the end. Let's just talk about religion. Okay, religion bullshit. Uh, um, anything, I don't give a shit what it is. Anything that's been touched by the hand of man is corrupted totally or totally corrupted. There's no two ways about it. Now, you, you have all your different religions, Catholics, which I, <laughs> I was baptized a Catholic. I'm not a Catholic, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, uh, Anglican, um, you know, all these sort of things. Look, is Jesus real? I don't know. There's, there's enough literary evidence to say that he existed. But here's my point, right, about all this shit. And this includes the Muslims, you know, the Buddhists. Buddhist, in my mind, the Buddhist and the Shinto religions are probably my pick. You know, chill out, find your way, die, go a different path. That's my makeup, really, guys. Okay. Um, why am I saying all this? You know, like if you pick the religions, right? Christian, Orthodox, um, and not so much the Jewish one, Jewish, yeah, I guess. And especially the Muslims, Islamic, is that what they're called? I don't know, bloody, you're either a Muslim or Islamic, I don't get it. Um, they're all, if you ha if you focus in on what they're, they're doing, it's all about guilt. How to make you feel like shit because um, you're you. You're a sinner because you're alive. You're a sinner because you're doing eating breakfast or, you know, all this shit. You know, and the Muslims are the extreme of that, aren't they? Let's be honest. They've t they, they are. And this is common knowledge. It's not, I'm not, you know, trying to pick on Muslims or anything. They are Jewish, but on the extreme side of Jewish. Because Ishmael was a Jew and then he decided to start his own religion. So... You know, they just, and he took it to the next degree, which is even more severe than the Jewish religion at that time. You know, oh, you guys are wrong. You got it wrong. You can't do that. We're not eating anything for a month. 
you know, just and, and shit like that. It's just crazy shit. And here's the thing that I don't get, right? This is for you people to keep writing to me and saying, I'm doing this because of people writing to me saying you're doing the, long, the wrong Lord's Prayer, etc. Here's what I don't get, right? Um, okay, here's what I don't get. If I go fishing, I caught a fish that big, maybe. But if I tell that story to someone else, and that person says to somebody else, our caught a fish that was this big. You know what I mean? I don't know how any plausible person with any brains can put any gravitas to what's written down in a Bible that was written, I don't know, 10,000 years ago, or I don't know, 2,000 years ago. Because the story gets bigger, doesn't it? You know, and once again, not picking on the Jews or the uh, uh, Muslims, but for Christ's sake, they wrote the bloody Quran 500 years after he died or some shit. You know. <laughs> and you want me to, they want people like us to believe that because they believe that it's 100% right. And as I just said, anything touched by the hand of man is corrupted. Totally. What? Because some blokes writ something down 2,000 years ago, 1,500 years ago, or 1,000 years ago, I'm supposed to believe that shit. Come on. Here's what I believe. right? Because a guy wrote this to me the other day about the Lord's Prayer. And he said, Matthew or Mark or whoever it was, wrote down the Lord's Prayer as it was written. <laughs> I nearly fell out of the chair laughing. I'm thinking, man, if you believe that shit, then there's something wrong with you. Do you believe the government when they write stuff in the newspaper? I would believe not, because otherwise you wouldn't be watching my show or other shows like mine. So why the hell can, how the hell can you stand there and just say, well, that was written 2,000 years ago. It's got to be right. It just astounds me. Look, I say the Lord's Prayer as one some type of spirituality. The only thing I remember about out of the Bible was God said two things. One, you don't have to go to church to pray. You can stand in a cupboard to pray to God. And two, the Lord's Prayer, as far as I remember, is the only prayer given to man by God. Out of all of them. So you're right, mate. I don't know which one's the right one, the original but I'd reckon the King James Version would probably be more original than anything that's been... It's been... Now, listen to this. It's The Lord's Prayer has been changed up to 10 times in this century. 10 times. And I think uh, Henry VIII changed it as well. So the, the English had a different version to everyone else. So, look, there's, I don't know what's right and I don't know what's wrong. Haven't got a fucking clue. Excuse my French. So I'll just keep on saying it for two reasons. Spiritual and an act of defiance. Because no one's allowed to say it anymore. Do you realize that? Think about that. No one in open society is allowed to say the Lord's Prayer at all. You can actually be arrested for saying it. You can't even say it at a Christian school. Think I'm joking. I'm not. Look it up. Okay. Now, let's move on. If you haven't watched Greg Hunter's new weekly news wrap-up that came out yesterday, please watch it. It's really riveting stuff. Um, and he actually, you know, goes right into detail. And one of the things that Greg says is, and I agree with him totally, is forget all this other shit. Forget everything else. It's irrelevant. It's all theatre. Right? Don't worry about how much money you got in the bank. Don't worry about this. Worry about yourself and your family first. Food and water. So I'll say that again. Forget everything else. It's all theatre. This thing is going to pop. Sometime, sometime soon. 
when they've dragged this down the road now for the last <sighs> forever years, you know, three to four years longer than it should have. I started preparing five years ago, I think it was. So I've got food items and stuff kept for the last five years. So, look, as Greg says, you're going to wake up, you're going to go to bed on Friday, you're going to get up on Sunday, and you're going to have a, the president on the TV saying, uh, guys, the banks won't be open tomorrow. But don't panic. Everything's fine. We know what we're doing. That's when you need to start panicking. <clears throat> now, the, the problem is no one knows when that date is. So, ask yourself this very, very simple question. Do you need the $65 data a, a month? You know, like the data is, is that the best? Can you cut the cost? Can you cut your electricity cost? Can you cut your car cost? Can you cut your housing costs? You know, do you need to go out and have four coffees a week on your credit card? These are the things you need to start thinking about now. It's that close. Have you got a compost pile in your backyard to start growing veggies and keep them healthy? Have you got uh, renewable seeds because if you go listen if you go to Bunnings and you buy seeds guys they're only going to last you one batch that's it they'll die they're modified they're not um, uh, cyclic seeds as they say so you won't get them next season they'll die so if you know if you want to go to Bunnings go for your life but remember you need to triple or quadruple what you're thinking for the next couple of years have you done an assessment as to how much food you need to survive a week? That means caloric intake. How much can you go down to? Because don't aim high. You need to lay, aim low. Can you survive on a thousand calories a day? I watched a show in England many years ago and they had this woman on there who was... 82 or something, or you know, she was bloody old, who'd been through the Second World War. And they had a mannequin with the woman's wedding dress on the mannequin. They couldn't get a model. Now, remember how stick thin these models are? They could not get a model to fit it. So just think about the Second World War and people's idea of caloric intake was a glass of milk a day, if they were lucky. A little bit of butter. You know, you need to reanalyze everything, guys, because that's where this is going. You know, um, it's going to happen. There's no two ways about it. And you're either going to get prepared or you're not. And remember, buying one thing of pasta makes you 100% better prepared than somebody who has none. Greg has a good comment in his video where he says, you know, people say to me, I have no money to do this and do that, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's bullshit because if you've got money to buy internet, mobile phones, etc., etc., then you've got money. Because I'm 55. 56 something like that so and my son laughs when I say this but it was only 20 years ago that no one had mobile phones think about that so in 1998 not everybody had a mobile phone uh, sorry what are we now 17 18 what is it 19 yeah 99 in 1999, no one had a mobile phone. If you had a mobile phone, you were they came with a big battery pack, and we used to call them doorstops because you used to put them in, <laughs> stop doors from opening on building sites. And only one person had one, if anyone had one. And they were thousands and thousands of dollars. 
Remember the old motor rollers, the big motor rollers with the big aerial? <laughs> so, you see my point here. Do you really need it? Ask yourself that question. Do you really need that expense? Most important thing at the moment is your car's serviced and running, full of petrol, two tanks if you got them, and you've got a cup, you know, at least five jerry cans full of petrol in storage. So I'm going to show you some financial stuff now. Um, I've spoken, I'm, I'm in currently speaking to John Adams, um, the Australian financial guru. And uh, I was supposed to have John on before I went on my sabbatical sort of thing. Um, but obviously that didn't happen because of what was going on on my YouTube. And it was kind of funny because I'm pretty sure it was me having conversations with John via internet that caused all my problems. Not from John, but from, you know, intermediaries. Um, so look, I'd, I'd, if don't, please don't send me in, uh, emails and stuff. I'd, it's pointless now. I'm just going to do this. I don't need to talk to you on emails, etc. Unless you feel inclined that there's some really relevant news, but it's just not worth it, guys. Seriously, well, you realise you're going to have to get back to the old school way of thinking, 20 years ago, and that's even hard for me. You know what I mean? And I don't use a mobile phone or anything anymore either. So it's it's actually hard to go back to the normal way we used to be. I tell you what has been interesting has been how many people. When I mentioned about all my boys are on antidepressants, and you know, to the absolute dick shit that wrote to me and said, "Oh, well, it's all your fault. You know, you need to get them off YouTube, etc." Well, yeah, thanks for that. Um, yeah, it's been interesting how many people have written to me and said, "Yeah, I'm the same." They are literally blasting our next generation with drugs before they've ev they're even turned 16 or 20 that's a bad that's a bad thought you know um with all this supposed help they have these days but anyway look i want to go to um some financial stuff uh specifically about deutsche bank okay this is trading the trading economics work uh website now, here's something to think about. Look at this. Look at this heading up here. In the U.S. personal spending rises more than expected. Now, I wanted to just spend a minute on this so I can actually open your mind a bit. So the American economy is booming, biggest it's ever boomed in history, at any time in economic history. That's a fact. There's less people unemployed in America than any time in history. That's a fact. There's more money in the economy now than at any time in history. That's a fact. So, how come if the economy is going that way, Trump is saying that he wants interest rates to go that way? Ask yourself that question. Because the two should go like that. Should they not? Inflation goes up. Interest rates go up. Why? So you can cool the economy and bring things down to a more even keel. But inflation's supposed to be going up, which I know it is. You all know it is. I know it is. Because I've only got to go down to the friggin' road here and try and buy something at IGA and it's, you know, a carton of milk's five bucks. Now, you know, all this sort of rubbish. So how come at the one time when the American economy is just going skyrocketing through the moon, yay, beautiful. Trump's saying, I want to bring interest rates down to zero. Think about that. Because there's no money, folks. It's all gone. It's a lie. It's a big, fat, fat, fat lie, sadly. Right, let me get back to trading economics. <coughs> Got to put the specs on, hang on. Okay, I'm going to do this so you guys can either show people or you can do it yourself, okay? 
Now, here's something interesting. I just want to go to the bonds here on the right hand side, top right hand side here. 10 year US is 10.3%. Now I'm going to click on the US, right? <clears throat> you can all do this yourself. Get rid of that shit. Now, if I go to the five year down the left hand corner here, look how poorly it has performed over the last years and look where it went up to just six months ago. Now, there's something seriously wrong here, folks. Now, see these down here. Now, the current rate for the 10 year is 2.13. The current rate for the two year, with this is actually behind actually, this is incorrect. So you've got two years, 10 years, 2.13. And if you want to secure it for 30 years, it's 2.6. Now look at the six month, 2.36. So in the three month, see that there? Three month, six months. Look at them. 2.36 and 2.35. Now, you might ask yourself, well, that's kind of weird. Why would you get more money three and six months than you would for two years and 10 years and five years? The answer is very, very simple. They need the money. They need the money now. They need you to invest now. And so you can actually pump the money in to three and six months, get your money back three to six months. But most people don't. What most people do is put it in for three and six months and then just keep renewing. So there's gonna be a huge, huge sell in America for buying bonds, three and six months yield. And they will skyrocket The money's gone, folks. They have no money now. They're, they're depleted. They have no money. So they're now resorting to getting the people to buy three and six month bonds. It's horrendous, folks. That's danger, danger, Will Robinson. Right, so let's go back. I'm doing this live so you can actually just follow what I'm doing, okay? Now, let's go down the bottom here. Let's go to Germany. Let's go to stock market. This is the DAX. Now, if you see here, components, that's the people who are in the DAX, uh, registered in the German uh, stock exchange. Now, cast your eye to the right and look at the columns. Look how much red there is. Okay, that's the first warning sign. Okay, now, let's go down to Deutsche Bank. Do you see that there, folks? You all know who Deutsche Bank is, don't you? Deutsche Bank is the biggest bank in the world, bar none. Forget the American banks. And the reason that I'm saying that is because the Deutsche Bank is the... Uh, is the bank that keeps all the other banks gelled together. So it's the kingpin, for want of a better term, in Europe, if not the world. So there's nothing that goes on in Europe without Deutsche Bank having a finger in the pie. Does that make sense? 
even now, today, even though they've kind of been shunned. Now, their share market price, and this should, should literally scare the bejesus out here, because once they went past $10 a share, oh, actually, look, let's be honest, I'm going to try and find their, their ultimate share price, which was $157 a share. That's right. It was 157 or 132 something like that. They're now worth $6 a share. I want you to think about that just for a second. Ask yourself, what does that mean? Because that's how serious this is. They've gone from 132, 157 down to $6 a share. Now, look over here to the right hand corner. Now, it's only going to go back to. It used to go back a lot further. Oh, I can get, I can make it go back. Give me two seconds. All right, folks, we'll look at this chart. Look down the bottom, or look to the right hand side here, and it's got $95. That was the highest that I could get it to go to. Um, now, interestingly, they've actually cut this is interesting they've actually cut the chart because the highest that this ever went to was 100 I'm pretty sure it was 132 so can you imagine if you bought shares at either oh shit let's just say you bought shares when it was 70 $70 a share, $60 a share, and you held onto those shares. Well, now you have what is classified as junk shares, and you have effectively lost all your money. Think about that. So the world's biggest bank with the world's biggest debt is now in super duper, super duper problems. And I just showed you it was at $95 a share. And look at this chart, it's going down and down and down and down. Oh, made a brief what's the name in 2017, 2018, when they threw trillions at it. This is real time, folks. So the world's biggest bank shares are now worth, effectively, it's trading broke because it has $40 trillion in derivatives. Now, I said a long time ago, they can't let Deutsche Bank fail. So what they'll do is they'll let a bank in Italy, Bank of France, Bank of Par um, Portugal, Brussels, wherever, they'll let other banks crash before they let Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank will be the final, final one to go, put it that way. They will keep all the other banks and they will fund Deutsche Bank before they let it fail. But what you need to understand is that while you're all sitting here right now, there's people sitting in dark rooms discussing what the hell they're going to do. Because they all know that Deutsche Bank is broke. And they're just shift and jet deck chairs around the Titanic at the moment while you and I are sitting here drinking coffee, going out for tea, going to the movies, 
whatever else you can think of. There's people sitting in Europe and America going, oh my God, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? That's how bad this is. Because it is effectively, if you had shares at 60 and now they're at six, you'd have to, you know, you'd have to perform an absolute miracle magic trick and pull a magic rabbit out of your ass to make it go up again because the writing's on the wall. So, as I said, and I told you, if, you, if you're a follower of mine, you know that I said this over, about a year ago, Deutsche Bank was gonna go. And I said exactly the same thing. The shares are just gonna keep, they're gonna keep trying to prop it up and they'll throw money at it. They'll let other banks go before they let Deutsche Bank go. So what they're gonna do is actually try and manage a bank in Italy blowing up. Oh, it's okay. We've got we look. It's fine. It's not a problem. We can sort it out. And then a couple of weeks later, one in France goes. Ah, oh, it's fine. Look, we've got it covered. It's okay. Portugal, then Brussels. This this is how this is going to play out. That's why they want to get out of the Europe. Because while ever they're in Europe, Europe's just going to shut their banks down to protect Germany. The Lord feudal state. So now I've shown you all that and now you're aware of that. How prepared are you? Because this shit could happen today, tomorrow, Sunday. Literally. And I'm being dead set serious. I don't think we're going to get out of June without something major happening. I said that before, I know, but I look, I, I just can't. There's always been little things that have happened, but I think we're getting to the stage now where a big thing is going to happen. We're living in really bad times, folks. So, how prepared are you? Have you got chickens? Have you got food? Have you got vegetables? Forget all the other shit. Forget, like, totally forget it. That ain't important. Do you have firewood? Because that's how bad this is going to get, folks. You're going to have to resort to cooking outside because there'll be no gas, no electric. When this pops, everything's going to pop. The only saving grace will be how good can they make the reset? And by good, I mean how bad it's going to get really bad before the reset. So what's the master plan for the reset? And don't think they're not sitting around talking about it because they, they are, definitely are. But remember, and remember this well, they don't give a shit about you, me, anyone else except for themselves, power and money. I'm going to say that again. They don't give a shit about you, me or anyone else. All they care about, themselves, power and money. Or if you like, themselves, or evil, power, greed. And at that, we'll go to the prayers. And as I said to you guys before, I don't re I don't click on this until I'm ready to go on it. Have a listen to this. For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Pretty awesome. And as always, folks, we'll finish with the Lord's Prayer. The 
the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. All right, folks, gone on long enough. Please, please get this video out to people in Australia, around the world, wherever you want. Send it to your friends, family, whoever. But you run out of time, folks. We've all run out of time. That includes me. I'm no genius. I'm, it's over. Everything's over. You need to understand that. And everyone needs to understand that. Show them the video. Show them the chart, the Deutsche Bank. Let them listen to what I said. I'm not a financial guru, but I know what I'm talking about. It's not that hard, really. Anyway, God bless. Prep out.